But as the officers of the law, we want to let you know there's not a damn thing we can do about we it. We really can't. I had a fantasy about being an FBI when I was a little boy. I thought that'd be real cool to uh, solve crimes, go to write chalk outlines on the ground and stick needles into people and poke them with things and stuff like that. But as I got older, I felt, you know what? I want to work with people on the streets. I want to be in touch with my gente. That's my people in Spanish. Uh, I don't want to be a far above in a lab coach or a windbreaker or a special hat. Good afternoon, class. My name is Officer Garcia. This is my partner. Officer Jones, we're here from the Reno uh, County Sheriff's Department and the uh, Community Outreach Program to talk to you about a subject today that most folks aren't comfortable with. Now, as uh, citizens of this great community, we'd all like to believe that kids don't carry guns to school. We'd all like to wish that that weren't true, but we know, and you know, that kids do have guns at school, okay? You guys have a whole lot of them. You have a whole lot of them. As officers of the law, we want to let you know there's not a damn thing we can do about we it. We really can't. Okay? We really can't do anything about you guys having guns in school. But what we can do is show you how to fire these weapons safely and correctly, okay? Let's say you have one of these in your hand, okay? Which you should never have. Okay. What we want to teach you today is one word that's going to help you out should you find yourself in a situation and you can't talk something out and you need one of these firearms, okay? And that one word is safe. S-A-F-E. Steady, okay? Aim. Fire. Boom everybody's okay. If we can teach you to fire that firearm correctly, you can take your man down, right? Boom! And we don't have the scatter effect. There's not the watermelon seeds. It's not a big picnic of people on the ground. Some of you ladies, you're pretty. I'm sure you're going to get dates to the prom. Maybe somebody gets in a fight over a dance. You might find a little bit more security if you had one of these little numbers, okay? That's a nine millimeter, all right? Five in the chamber, one in the clip. It's nice, it's light, fits in your dress, your purse. Some of you men that are on the wrestling team might want to skip over the, the lady type guns and go right to your 357 or your 44. I think the FBI guys here seem like they're all over it. They seem like a really good team. They speak in paragraph form. Yeah. Like yeah. you never hear uh, coming out of their mouth. Or what, or, or he, he was like, they never say, like the bad yeah. guy was like coming in the door. We say that all the time. All it's the like time. they do to go to some kind of damn vocabulary school. Vocabulary school. Or, yeah. Like gram Gram grammar. Grammar. Talk. Talk. It's very impressive. Hi mom. How are you? Dead, I know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have anything new to report except oh only the greatest thing ever. I met a boy, and his name is Craig, with a C. I mean, I know you've told me before, um, you know, chances are if a guy shows interest in me, it's probably some ploy to get something from me, or there's a good chance I could get molested or raped or, you know, end up pregnant or dead. And basically, what I'm asking is for your permission to have our wedding here on your plot. And I asked Marcus, who runs the place, about having you dug up, and it costs a fucking fortune, and I don't think I can afford it right now on the salary that they're giving me. And also, it might be kind of creepy. 